Arrival is an electric car company that aims to launch a vehicle that is specifically for ride-hailing services and their drivers. The first prototype is now complete, and the automaker plans to start testing it in 2022. The Arrival car prototype came together in just six months by leveraging tech from the company's existing van and the bus projects. The engineers also worked with Uber drivers to tailor the vehicle to their needs. The exterior design puts a priority on visibility for the driver, so there are huge windows and an expansive windshield. The short front overhang and angled nose would provide a good view out of the front. Occupants can enjoy the large, transparent roof, and it's quite tall, so headroom shouldn't be an issue for most folks. Inside, passengers sit on a rear bench seat. Arrival claims the vehicle's design offers twice as much legroom as an average car of the same length. In front, the driver grips a simple, two-spoke steering wheel that has directional pads on each side. A phone mount is directly behind the wheel. There isn't a traditional instrument panel. Instead, the central infotainment screen handles those duties as a vehicle specifically for ride-hailing services. The arrival car is putting an emphasis on cost, uptime, driver comfort, safety, and convenience. The company wants the model to work best in urban areas where the majority of ride-hailing customers are located. The automaker isn't offering any powertrain or battery details about the vehicle yet. Arrival plans to tweak the car during the testing phase based on feedback. The company doesn't say when it wants to launch the product. It actually looks like something out of the movies. We've been working really closely with Uber drivers to understand exactly what it is that we can do to radically improve how a car can function for a ride hail driver. So think of this as the ideal car for an Uber driver. This is the Alpha prototype, so this is the first version of the Arrival car. This looks amazing! <laughs> you saw the sketches and the designs. It is a fully working prototype. We now use this to go and do testing and continue the design into what we call Gamma, which is the next stage of development. That is what we're working on nice. next. The shape at the front is um, yeah. smoother. Looking good, Tom. Can I get in? Why don't we first of all just walk around it? I noticed you kept the black bit on the steering wheel. We talked a lot about that in the we last did. meeting, right? That's right, yeah. It's really pretty. Fabulous. Look at it, look at it. Yeah, look at the roof. Look at it, look at it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that we wanted to do was to move the driver as far forward as we can in the vehicle. This means that visibility can be radically improved versus any other car on the market. Come and have a go. Thank you. <laughs> I like the big window. Yeah. I do. I love it. I love that I, can, I feel like I can see everything. The driver position is elevated, so the sensation of visibility that you get here with this huge windscreen is, is phenomenal. It, it feels like I'm outdoors. It's great. The overall footprint of the whole car is the same as the Volkswagen Golf, but as you can see, one of the big design features that we've really strived for is in the back of the car is Massive. Massive. The passenger legroom in the back of the car is actually greater than a Rolls Royce. We've designed this in such a way that the front passenger seat can fold down and then can be moved as far forward as possible under the dashboard. And that creates this incredible sensation of space in the back row. This infinity roof is fabulous. Yeah. And that feeling that I am up here, they're back there. There is a sense of separation. That's great for them. So why don't we test it out as a as a passenger? Okay. Yeah. Go for it, Jerry. Look at those long legs. That's great space. First impressions, what do you think? What do you notice? Ah, uh, I love this. It, it, this is beautiful. Yes. It yeah. really, the view really is amazing. Big. I think that's very sexy. Isn't it? And that, that goes down and disappears. Uh, there we go. Move that out of the way. Uh -huh. The idea is to have space oh. for legroom, cargo. Plenty. If you have a small bag, you're going to the airport, for example, you could bring the bag in and place it in here. There's plenty of room to do that and you don't need to use the boots. Let's have a look. So this is as large as they come usually. There we are. 
suitcase. The boot is designed to be able to accommodate two large suitcases and a couple of small ones as well. That's it. We fit. There you are. Problem solved. Let's talk about the experience for the driver. The design we were going for is just super minimal. Ergonomic, Everything yeah. that you can do, you do through the display. Mm -hmm. When you, you think of what a normal car has in terms of dials so many bells and, and gadgets and gizmos, yeah. and this is just I mean, really but this strict is back. what we need. The climate control, Bluetooth, the phone connection, it's all configured through here. But the really interesting thing with this is there's an opportunity with a ride hail company like to make use of this display. So you could imagine this as being something where when you start your trip, you could see the name and photograph of both the driver and the passenger and use it as a, a moment for connection. So we're on our way to Piccadilly. Thank you very much. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so comfy. Right. It's nice. As our Alpha prototype, the purpose of this vehicle is really to realize the vision from the initial design going into the next stage of the vehicle. We build a series of prototypes to ensure that we've properly tested and prepared before it goes into production. It's great. You know, this technology is the future. It's the future, guys. You understand me. Yeah. <laughs> Simon, pleasure, Tom. Thanks Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank this you. Thanks fun. for coming I'm again. Excited.